worse than that. It's not even just the idea of democracy. What what Destiny was saying in that video clip, and I've heard this echoed from guys like Pac-Man and many others, is that all of humanity is benefited by you being gone. You even having a place to say anything yeah. is an existential threat to humankind itself. That's what and, he was saying. Right? And all that happens is that the world's going to improve by getting rid of you. Destiny stirred the pot by suggesting Tim Pool should be deplatformed, and now Tim isn't holding back. On his show, TimCast IRL, Tim, joined by Andrew Wilson, fires back at Destiny's anti-free speech stance, calling him out for attacking others since the election. Tim doesn't stop there as he brings up how advertisers are shifting their approach on platforms like Twitch, and even mentions rumors about Hassan possibly being at risk of getting kicked off. Tim's warning is clear. Be careful what you wish for. Let's dive into Tim Pool's fiery response to Destiny's controversial comments. Tribune.com.pk. I have no idea what this is. What is this? The Express Tribune. They say, Asmund Gold blames Hassan Abi for Twitch's adpocalypse affecting streamers' ad revenue. It's actually Destiny's... Uh... Destiny is? Well, and it's not Destiny himself. It's Destiny's uh, followers yeah. because it, they're going you, after us. Well, let's, oh, let's, yeah? let's, let's get the story oh, first. Yes, yes, yes. All right. so they say, Asmund Gold explained his position during his broadcast saying, Hassan clearly is one of the biggest proponents of this. I would say he is the main reason. He added that a majority of the examples used in discussions about demonetization on Twitch pertain to Hassan Abi. That's Hassan Piker. Maybe not 90, maybe, not, maybe 80, 70, but it is the majority of all examples on the entire platform. The adpocalypse refers to a reduction in ad revenue across Twitch, reportedly affecting some creators by as much as 90%. Jeez, yeah. Industry experts, including Devin Nash, have previously linked the issue to polarizing political content on the platform. Hassan Abi has faced criticism for his coverage of Middle Eastern conflicts with allegations of promoting anti-Semitic rhetoric. Yep. Yep. U.S. Congressman Richie Torres even cited Hassan Piker in a congressional letter accusing Twitch of amplifying extremist voices. Asmund Gold defended his stance, stating, you can say it's unfair, that's fine, but you can't say that it's not happening or that it's not the reason. He also criticized Twitch for its inconsistent moderation yeah. policies. Yeah. They're going to mention that Twitch has not officially commented on the, controversy, on the controversy, but recently updated its hateful conduct policy regarding the term Zionist. Because the ADL told him to. Is that, well, really? look, hey man. Yeah, not kidding. The ADL put in a policy. They said, nope, you got to do this. They capitulated the ADL immediately. This is liberals and leftists welcomes to leopard ate my face. Yeah. Yeah. Leopards hit my face. This is they advocated and begged. And to this day, they still beg for it. And I am happy to watch them crumble and wither into a dried husk of their former selves. Well, the gamers all over Amen. Twitch are like, no, get all. They want yep. all political co content off of Twitch. Gamers are begging Twitch, get rid of political content. We don't want it. Uh, we want ad-friendly content. That's us gaming, right? That's ad-friendly content. We don't want this. But Twitch, for Twitch, these guys are cash cows, right? The uh, Hassan, uh, Asma, they're cash cows. Destiny has a viral video right now where he says that all of the people on the right should be banned. Including He's, you. Including me. Yeah. Yeah. He says people like, you know. By I name? I, by, name. Yeah, by name. By name. I don't know who else he mentions. I don't remember. But he says, Tim Pool, these people, what? they're only awful and their platforms should be totally banned. And I'm like, De oh, Destiny? he said Tucker Carlson. Right. Yep. He said but, Tim Pool. He said there was multiple personalities. But I'm, I'm, I, I'm in complete agreement right now with him. And I'm glad he brought it up because we hold the power of the institutions. We won the popular vote. The advertisers are siding with X and he's going to get himself banned for screaming this. And bye bye, Destiny. Yo, Disney came back to X2 even. X, that's what I'm talking about. All the major corporations yeah. are coming back to X because Destiny and his ilk are on the wrong side of history. Yeah. Destiny wanted to make the argument about democracy and all that. Well, he's anti-democracy. The more he complains, he yeah. is opposed to the will of... Destiny seems to have a hard time accepting what's happening in the world around him. He's not just going against the will of the people. He's also clashing with basic common sense. Despite all the media spin and propaganda a large number of people still back Donald Trump, and it seems Destiny can't wrap his head around it. Now he's taking aim at everyone, including Tim Pool, Candace Owens, and others, saying they should be deplatformed. It's ironic, though, because the same approach he's pushing is starting to backfire. Destiny often talks about being a millionaire, but you have to wonder, what happens if his money starts drying up, or if he faces the same restrictions he's been calling for? It's like he's lashing out at everyone ever since the election, unable to deal with the fact that Trump came out on top. And really, calling for Tim Pool to be deplatformed? That's just absurd. Let me know in the comments what you think about this. But for now, 
Let's get back to it. If he wants to advocate for bannings, I say, well, don't look at me. But my my stance on this has changed. And he's by the way, this guy's always been a deplatformer. I mean, it's going way back. He's always been the advocate for deplatforming, unless it's him. Unless it's (laughs) 10 years ago, I was in the we shouldn't ban people. We protect free speech, even for those who disagree with camp. Now I'm in the I do not defend my enemies. Yes. Yeah, Destiny thinks- wants to burn down free speech. I say, hey, man, you're on your own. So when they start ripping their revenue away and banning them out and Hassan as well, I just say, sucks for you guys, I guess. I ain't going to speak up for you. No. Yeah. Like, I mean, I'm not. No, gonna- suffer. Suffer. Yeah. I'm not. I'm like, I'm not going to sit there. I would never go in and go out of my way to try and like get someone banned. But I'm not going to do one. I'm not going to lift one finger. Right. I'm not going to waste one yep. bit of, of breath trying to defend him. Or any, I mean, anyone that says, "Oh, you know, these people should be should be banned." If you're if you're advocating for banning people, like, beat it. I'm not well, going to defend these people you. People are saying is even so much worse than that. It's not even just the idea of democracy. What what Destiny was saying in that video clip, and I've heard this echoed from guys like Pacman and many others, is that all of humanity is benefited by you being gone. You even having a place to say anything yeah. is an existential threat to humankind itself. That's what and, he was saying. Right? And all that happens is that the world's going to improve by getting rid of you. That's a call to action. Yeah. That's an actual call to action. That's we must do this. We yeah. need to get rid of these people. How is it not if you say these people are an existential threat to everybody, right? Well, How's look, that look, not really a call to action cuz that's what it sounds like to me. There's a reason why and this is actually a fascinating metric I'd love to study. Maybe we could hire like a, a maybe people's pundit, uh, Rich Bears could help us out with this. After the election, that was a major inflection point. CNN and MSNBC's ratings collapsed. Yep. David Pakman, Brian Tyler Cohen, they started bleeding subscribers. Yeah. And he made a big deal out of it. Yeah, he did. And then when we responded, <laughs> he made another big deal out of it. If you look at their accounts on X, AOC lost like 150K this month, more now. They're fleeing the blue sky or other apps. And so we saw in the inverse, Fox News' ratings go up. Our viewership skyrocketed. We, we jumped a substantial amount. We are still seeing increased ratings. Right now we're at 60,625 concurrent views, where we were averaging before like 45K. So we, we've seen a boost. I'm wondering if this is regular people were watching these leftists, these liberals, believed them, saw that the majority of the country did not agree Some of them either asked themselves, am I wrong? Some of them said, oh, crap, I'm on the wrong side of history. But I'm wondering if we can actually track that sentiment among people who ditched the liberal shows and are rushing over here. And I think then the reason why people like Destiny are saying we'd be better off without them is because then the the viewers would have nowhere else to go and they'd be trapped in his sycophantic lie machine. Andrew Wilson nailed it when he pointed out how Destiny and others are clinging to the idea of silencing anyone who disagrees with them. The whole misinformation and threat to democracy narrative is just a way to justify canceling people. Now that they've lost their grip on the media, they don't know what to do. Even Destiny admitted, we've lost the reins on media. Platforms like Twitter and Facebook aren't playing by the old rules anymore. And new voices are finally breaking through. The truth is out about how the government and big media work together. And now figures like Destiny... Brian Tyler Cohen and David Pakman are struggling to stay relevant. Whether they see it or not, they've become tools for the establishment. And instead of adapting, they're doubling down by trying to cancel everyone who doesn't align with their views. Is that free speech? Not even close. What's wild is how out of touch they've become. The tide has turned, and their ideas don't hold the same weight anymore. But instead of accepting that, they're pushing harder to silence opposing voices. Let me know in the comments what you thought about Tim Pool, Andrew Wilson, and the others calling this out. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.